For this problem, we're looking to calculate the limit as x goes to infinity of the ratio uh, e to the x minus 7 on top and 8x squared plus 12x plus 5 on the bottom. So uh, since this is L'Hopital's rule uh, section, we are thinking perhaps L'Hopital's rule is going to be applicable, but we can't be certain until we actually assess what the indeterminate form is. So let's look at the top, e to the x minus 7. Well, e to the x is an exponential growth function, so as we go up to um, infinity, we, um, or as x goes to infinity, we go up to infinity also. And just that minus 7 is a shift down by 7, which doesn't change the fact that as x goes out to infinity, we're going out to positive infinity for the top. Now, the bottom is a quadratic. It's a quadratic opening upward because the leading coefficient is a positive value. And so this is also going to go up to positive infinity as x goes out to infinity. And so since we have infinity over infinity, that is a L'Hopital appropriate um, uh, indeterminate form. And so we can take uh, the ratio of the derivatives to um, attempt to take this uh, limit. And so note that I put that uh, LH there above the equal sign. That keeps um, in track keeps me on track because I have verified the um, indeterminate form and now I'm ready to apply L'Hopital's rule where I'm going to take the ratios of the derivatives. So I have on the top the e to the x minus 7 and on the bottom that uh, quadratic 8x squared plus 12x plus 5. And so I wrote in that extra step there where we have ddx on both the top and the bottom just to let you guys know as you're looking through this that what you're really doing is not taking the derivative like a, um, using a quotient rule or anything. It's the ratio of the derivatives. We simply are taking the derivative of each one. So on the top, uh, the derivative of e to the x is itself. And then uh, the derivative of the constant there is 0. So we just have e to the x on the top. On the bottom, we have um, a polynomial that we can take the derivative of. So uh, 8x squared, that would be 8 times 2 is 16, and then x to the first power when we drop the power by 1. And then we have plus 12. Okay. And so we can try again. Uh, L'Hopital's rule just gives us another different problem to look at where we're assured, based on that theorem, that uh, the limit for this new problem is going to match the limit from for the original problem. So looking at this again, we're not quite there yet. Uh, if we try to quote plug in infinity, we're still looking at an indeterminate form here that would be um, infinity on the top because again it's the exponential growth. Looking at the bottom, that's a line with positive slope. So as x goes out to infinity, so does the y value. So again, we have this infinity over infinity situation. So again, since that um, L'Hopital's rule applies for that particular um, indeterminate form, we can utilize L'Hopital's rule again here. And so we are again looking at the limit, and again we're taking the ratios of the derivatives. And so this time, the derivative there, we're taking uh, the derivative of e to the x on the top and the derivative of the line there on the bottom. And when we do that, we have the limit as x goes to infinity of the derivative of e to the x is itself. So notice we're not in some sense really making progress with the top. Um, we're always going to, if we kept applying L'Hopital's rule, if it was applicable, we are always going to get e to the x. However, look at what's happening on the bottom. We started off with a quadratic, then we had a line, and now we're going to have a constant. And so, um, so now when we try to actually compute the limit, again, we've got going to infinity on the top, but it's just a simple constant on the bottom. It's a positive constant, so we've got positive infinity over a positive constant. really tells us that the uh, answer is positive infinity. And that's the answer to our original limit problem. And so um, notice these observations about um, the exponential growth function there, the e to the x. Um, as we keep taking the derivative, it doesn't really change. It's still that exponential growth function. The first derivative we took um, kind of shifted it up by that 7 because we had no longer the shift that was um, relevant. But then we just kept having e to the x. 
On the bottom, we take the derivative and we made progress to get to the constant, which then allowed us to find ultimately that the top is what was dominating. And so that's really what's happening in general. And so there's some um, problems that you can just look at my inspection and know which one's really taking over. Because as we are looking at these uh, L'Hopital rule problems that are really ratios of two functions, what we're really asking ourselves as we go out to infinity is which one is taking over. And so this um, sort of concept is telling us that our exponential growth function, as we go off to positive infinity here, so exponential growth functions would look like e to the kx, um, where k is going to be bigger than zero. That's what the graph looks like. Um, it takes off to infinity, um, but of course so do power functions. And so just as an example of a power function, we'd have like a parabola perhaps. So it goes off to positive infinity also, but not nearly as quickly. Um, and then logarithmic functions go off to infinity, but even more slowly. So this would be like a log base b of x here. And so that's what is happening in general. Uh, your exponential growth dominates over power functions. Power functions being, we could extend that to like polynomials. Um, and then that would also then dominate uh, logarithmic functions too. So keep that in mind that the real reason is as we're going out to a uh, positive infinity, the one that is by far taking over is the exponential followed by power and then logarithmic gets there but not nearly as fast.